This is Dr. Mobin Sayed. We are going to talk about natural killer cells. Let's start. So natural killer cells are part of the innate arm, although they are born from the parent that makes acquired arm cells or T cells and B cells. We'll talk about that later. So it is innate arms part. It help kills kill infected or cancerous cells. Very important cell that it, if it finds some cell that is virally infected, for example, or that is developing cancer, it will, natural killer cells job is to identify some such cells and kill them. It also releases interferon gamma that would activate macrophages, which are another part of the innate arm cell, another cell of the innate arm, which is also working to clear out the infected cells and infections and bacteria and viruses and take part in the inflammation. Natural killer cell, if you see here in this busy diagram, if you see here, natural killer cell originates from the common lymphoid progenitor. This is an important one. I'll repeat this concept a few times today. If you see this cell, it gives rise to a B cell precursor, a T cell precursor and natural killer cell. So generally, these are acquired arm cells. So you can say that if the same parent made three acquired arm, three cells, then maybe they're all acquired arm cells, but that's not the case. These two are acquired arm and this one is innate arm. That's very important to remember. Okay, so now a healthy cell, look here on the left side. When a healthy cell is functioning correctly, it is making many proteins that are doing various functions. Part of that is that it is making MHC1 as well. It is making thousands of proteins, but one protein that is important from natural killer cells point of view is MHC1. MHC1 is displayed on the cell surface. Every healthy nucleated cell presents MHC1 on its surface. If the cell becomes infected with a virus, for example, virus is going to hijack the, the machinery of a healthy cell. That machinery was being used by the healthy cell to make its own proteins. But now the natural killer cell, sorry, the virus has taken over and virus is using that machinery to make more daughter viruses. So all of a sudden, this healthy cell doesn't have its own proteins, including has less or no MHC1 on its surface. This cell has gone bald all of a sudden. Its hair have fallen. So keep that in mind. On the other hand, a cancerous cell start sh displaying special proteins on its surface called mica. So virally infected cell stops showing MHC1 on the surface and a cancer cell starts, sh starts showing mica on its surface. There are many other changes too, but this is all in the context of natural killer cell. So now before we see what does natural killer cell do with those things, let's just very quickly understand the properties of a natural killer cell. So remember, natural killer cell was born from a same cell that also makes B cells and T cells, which are part of the acquired arm. So you could say that, well, if the parent is the same, then maybe this is also acquired arm. So you will be correct that it is born from the lymphoid cells or lymphoid progenitors, but it functions with the innate arm. So it has all the properties of the innate and none of the property of the lymphoid other than being born by the lymphoid parent. So it is part of innate arm. It does not need thymus for its training. For example, T cells need thymus. It does not have memory. It does not make memory NK cells but we know that T cells have memory cells and B cells have memory cells. It does not become enhanced in activity on the re-exposure to the same antigen. We know that, for example, B cells, when they are re-exposed to the same antigen that they react to, then they do affinity maturation and they keep becoming better and better. NK cell does not do that. Then it help kill infected and cancer cells as we decided and discussed before and it releases interferon gamma that activates the, uh, the macrophage. Now this behavior of interferon gamma release is very similar to T helper one cells. So from that point of view, you could say it is sort of similar to acquired arm, but that's the only similarity. And then it does not need antigen presentation for killing. This is a very important point. What happens is a T cell or a B cell or 
a other cells when they are killing a pathogen or a infected cell or a cancer cell they need the antigen to be presented on msc1 or msc2 natural killer cell does not need that it directly senses the problem with the cell and directly attacks the cell to kill it it does not need any antigen presentation which is also very different from uh, acquired arm cells so what does it do so here in the center is a natural killer cell natural killer cell has its sensors that will sense the lack of mhc1 on a healthy or on a cell or reduce density of mhc1 so as i said before virally infected cells will have less mhc1 on their surface or no mhc1 nk cell can directly identify that and then attack that cell similarly if you see here nk cell can actually directly identify the presence of mica which is not present on healthy cells only present on the cancer cells and it would start attacking them as well so it has direct sensor it doesn't need anyone else so what does it do how does it kill them so what happens is when it senses a cell is sick virally infected or cancerous nk cell releases see this little dagger in its hand it releases perforins it secretes perforins perforin for perforation it will make holes in the cells target cells and if you see these little blue things in its hands which are called granzymes so it releases perforins and granzymes perforins go and make a hole in the target cell and the granzymes enter the through that hole in the cell and they induce apoptosis in the target cell asking the cell to die that would cause the infected cell to die and it will not act as a machinery for virus making similarly if it asks the cancer cell to die then the cancer cell will die and it will not be cancerous cell anymore now while this all is happening there are certain things that can augment nk cells function for example macrophages release interleukin 12 so of course wherever there is damage going on an infection going on macrophages will be working there too macrophages release interleukin 12 that activate potently activate nk cells similarly sick cells they release interferon alpha and beta that are also potent activators of nk cell so imagine that you are an nk cell you go near a sick cell you did not know it was sick so now there are two things one if you touch the cell and you see that msc1 is missing or is less you become alerted at the same time the cell is also releasing interferon alpha and beta which also tell you that this cell is sick and then you become active in addition to that the nk cells have receptors for immunoglobulin g antibodies as well just like you know uh, mast cells have for ige NK cells have receptors for IgG and through the IgG attachment they can perform antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity or they can cause cyt cytotoxicity through that mechanism as well. Now finally once again NK cells release interferon gamma that activates the macrophages and this is how the innate arm is helping innate arm and that is the discussion. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.